All right, the engine bay's been welded. All unnecessary wires removed. B20 with a B18 intake manifold and possibly SI throttle body. I know it's larger than stock. Um, pressure regulator. And on the back firewall there, I got the uh, proportional valve to the rear brakes. Uh, tapped in for the alternator wiring. Kill switch and Type R clone. Not an eBay, but a Type R clone. Four into one header. Mishimoto radiator. And that's just steam for me power washing. And uh, up front, Acura Legend GS, two piston calipers with uh, CRV hubs and 11-inch uh, rotors, <coughs> full iBox sport line, suspension package, Hawk pads, high heat pads, uh, all urethane bushings, all metal brake lines, all bushings have been replaced again. Everything's fresh and new, upgraded. Same in the rear. I believe those are just Hawk rotors with Hawk pads, but up front's the DBA rotors with Acura Legend GS two piston calipers. Again, complete spec sport line package, full two and a half inch exhaust system, all mandrel bent. All new everything, all new aluminum, everything, everything, everything. Ah, yes, my first road race car build. Built for endurance racing, for champ, champ car, chump car. 95 Acura Integra. No rust. Solid car. Everything's fresh, everything's new. Only really raced two races. Those can be long races, but only two races. Full fire suppression system. Two nozzles in the engine bay, two nozzles in the driver's compartment. Full radio system, phantom this, super this. Uh, talked around Road America just fine. Again, it's clean, solid, good build, very user-friendly. Uh, after blowing up the Type R motor, I put in a, uh, I took most of the hard-to-find stuff off and put back on stuff that you can easily find at the parts stores down the street. Realizing endurance racing, it's the ability to keep your car running. So unless you got deep pockets to have two or three of everything, Ignition system, ignition boxes, blah, blah, blah. I went the smarter route. Two shift lights. One for 6,000 and one for 7,200. Both shift lights are out. You can downshift type thing. Help the rookie drivers know when they can downshift without popping a motor. Runs like a champ. Zero issues. Tons of extra parts. Everything I got that's Honda is included. And these are all parts that I've accumulated for extras, backups, spares on spares on spares, mainly stock stuff. But like I said, reverted it closer to stock so it was easier to have a bunch of parts. Type R head and SI motor are also included. <laughs> 